So I haven't really filmed anything today. Maybe I'll film something later. But right now you can have a look at my basic bitch meal. Yeah. Chicken, avocado, mayonnaise, a little sprinkle and cheese. And then I got my basic bitch salad, which I make my own dressing with tomatoes, cucumber, and walnuts, salt and pepper, and all that stuff in there. Nom, nom. Take his accusing eyes, accusing eyes. So that was today's find a shrine. You can see it over there. It's slap bang in the middle of the lake. So it is the happy day of Frisia and did I record a vlog? I don't know if I recorded anything yet, but here, here we go. This is my out of my work clothes and into my going to hang out with people clothes because I don't seem to do this as often as I used to because I've just been so work dedicated and there have been many plus points, many much plus points, but you know, obviously socializing, it has to take a backseat when you have to do adulting. Anyway, I'm going to go meet some people that I know and do stuff. So let's go do stuff in the Shinjuku. So I'm with people. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Mainly this guy, because he's like traveled all the way to be here. How is the re-Japaning? It's very hot, humid. Every time I step outside, it's like so I'm stepping hot. into a sauna. That, that Japan humid life, so camp out of that bar. Yay! With your fancy coat, look at this fancy coat shit! Pinky, pinky. 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 Turns out it's Vida day 11, 11, 11, 11. And I realized I haven't recorded anything yet. So here's what I'm gonna record. <laughs> so I've had kind of a lazy day, unexpected lazy day. I was meant to go out and find a shrine, but didn't happen. Basically the weather just suddenly turned into rain. So I just kind of gave up on that aspect and I even got dressed to like go out. And then I realized it was really hot today and I kind of was like, I think I'm just gonna marathon Orange is the New Black. I was really happy. Um, I had a great night last night with people and I woke up and I didn't, I didn't feel hungover. It was actually a really nice feeling. Anyway, I don't know if I mentioned yesterday, but uh, my dear friend Lisa, AKA Lisa Sometimes, she actually went to LA recently. You can hear I'm rustling something. And she was nice enough to bring me back different variations of Reese's pieces or just Reese's variations, which I haven't had before. And I'm really excited to try it. So these are the two variations that she got me. Hey. So we have Reese's Outrageous Pieces, which looks like it has Reese's Pieces in a chocolate bar. And then there's Reese's Fast Break, which it kind of looks like a, a Mars bar, but instead of the nougat, you've got like peanut butter. So I'm excited to try both of these. 
I have milk with me because that's important when you're eating chocolate. <laughs> I love Reese's. In case you didn't know, I th I'm sure most of you must know by watching my vlogs by now that I really like Reese's. So I'm gonna give these a try because I'm really excited. Oh no, this one got melted, but I, I think it's gonna be okay. It's really stuck. I put these like in the free fridge as soon as I got home. Oh, it's all like melted all over the packet. Mm -hmm. Just as to the listeners. Okay. So British girl trying American chocolate. Oh. Oh wow. Look at that. It says Reese's Pieces in there. What the hell? Oh. Oh, I love peanut butter so much. And in places like LA, everything is peanut butter flavored, and I got so hooked on peanut butter flavored malt shakes while I was there. Oh my god, it's amazing. Mmm. Okay, one more bite. How? Mmm. Oh, this one looks more colorful. <laughs> wow. And now I will try Reese's Fast Break. Basic chocolate bar. I just don't, it's really weird. I don't really eat chocolate bars now. So this is really weird. Just, I, I can't believe people eat this as a snack. If you're eating chocolate bars as snacks, I, I just, I, I don't know what to tell you. It's like, for me, this is like a dessert. Here we go. Oh. Mmm. Okay. So, there's peanut butter and nougat underneath. Oh, I like that. It reminds me of, they had, before peanut butter got over to the UK properly, lion bars were a thing. And this reminds me of, there was a peanut butter chocolate flavored lion bar. Oh, that's really good. Mm, 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 mm. Hmm, to say which one is my favorite, I, I, I don't know, it's a tough choice. The Reese's outrageous. It's certainly quite outrageous. <laughs> I don't know, I think this aesthetically is quite cool and it's just, it's so American, like putting Reese's pieces in a chocolate bar. I don't know. It's just so American. But I think this one, texture-wise and flavor-wise, I actually prefer this one. Thumbs up to both of them and thank you so much, Lisa, for thinking of me and bringing the delicious Reese's. Because these weren't the only things she got me either. Da, 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 da. So these stupid children, screw them because that's gonna be me. Look at the little arms. Look at the arms. So thank you so much, Lisa. You're the bestest. Woohoo! Lazy time. Oh, also, I'm wearing another awesome Killstar shirt today, which is Too Weird to Live and Too Rare to Die, which is from the awesome movie Fear and Loathing, which is one of my favorite movies. I love it a lot. So I'm very sweaty, but I'm doing some Pokemon hunting because it's community day and it's for Eevee. So you get a lot of sparkly Eevees and I'm actually really happy with myself because I've managed to capture at least six shiny Eevees and I'm so happy about that. So I'm gonna evolve them and see if what shiny surprises they have. And one thing that is really great about this is that I can walk around in a park at night dressing like this do you know isn't terribly scandalous but you know I guess in Japan it is that and it's okay uh, it just it, it's still in my mind that in England if I did this in the middle of London it's like you wouldn't be able to do that but another thing is da, 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 da. look at those beautiful rainbows I don't know if this is for pride but I'm going to say it's for pride because it looks fucking beautiful yay Pokemon man, man. I caught them all, all. So on day 14 of Vida, I think I've been pretty shitty on doing Vida for the last couple of days. So sorry, not sorry. <laughs> While I'm on my way to the gym, because you know, that's my weekday life, that I thought I would explain about this pass here, this Pasmo that is in here. If you're not sure what a Pasmo is, Google it. <laughs> but I'll tell you in brief that it's basically a train pass that you top up money on so you can use it on all the subway trains. Here, this Pasmo that I have in my hand, I have had since I first came to Japan. So when I first came here, it was 2008, I think. <gasps> I've had this card since then, and I was certain that these cards expired after 10 years. Still hasn't expired, I'm still holding on to that. It's like a sweet little memory, my first exposure to the insanity and the awesomeness that is Japan. It's like, mwah. So whenever I think I've lost this, I actually get kind of a little bit emotional because it's like, oh my God, first Japanness. Woo, with the weaviness, yay. If any of you are watching out there that are living in Japan or have come to Japan, do you keep any trinkets from your first trip to Japan? Any other kind of little memories? Let me know in the comments below.